I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really like American sports culture. According to a survey made in January of 2023, 33% of Americans are avid fans and 42% describing themselves as casual fans, leaving only 24% of this country's population saying that they are not a fan at all. So with three quarters of this country's population being a sports fan to some degree, you think the culture would be better. At least in my opinion. So allow me to explain myself here. I think what the main reason being for me is that a lot of sports teams are treated more as a business rather than an actual sporting organization. I mean, if you were to hop on ESPN right now, I guarantee you that half the pundits would describe the teams as franchises. Now, I feel like my perspective is unique here because uh, growing up, I was always a soccer fan, so I never really understood any other American sports um, and only recently started getting tapped into it. So when I would hear pundits uh, describing teams as franchises, it just confused me. If a British pundit described a, t a team like Arsenal or something as a franchise, he wouldn't be able to leave the media stand without at least three pints of beer thrown at his skull. And it does not end there. Here's some other examples of American sports having business-centric terminology. In Britain, they're called badges. In America, they're called logos. And when those said logos are changed, it's called a rebrand. When a player moves from one team to another, it's called a trade. And teams relocate all the time as if it's like a corporate headquarters or something. Now there's plenty of more examples of this, but I think you get the picture. And there's one simple solution to fix all of this. And that's adding promotion and relegation. And for those of you who may not know what promotion and relegation is referring to, it essentially means that if you end the season in the bottom, then you'll be relegated to a lower league. And this is common practice in European football leagues. Although in recent years, American investors like John Henry have tried to create a shitty league system that removes it. But I ain't gonna talk about that disaster show here. So when American teams do poorly, they don't get any repercussions. Matter of fact, they actually get perks. They get the first draft pick and some perks. However, promotion and relegation would change that by allowing teams to move between leagues based on their performance. And the teams that do well would be promoted to higher leagues, while the ones that do poorly would get relegated to lower ones. This would create... Cre That's a really fucking hard word to say. This would create a more competitive environment as every team would have to work hard and maintain their place in the league. And in my opinion, it would create more excitement for fans as there would be more on the line and more, uh, the wins would mean something more than just a regular season match. And also, it would probably create more chances for underdogs to succeed. It would also encourage investment in smaller teams. Because if invested correctly, can be able to climb up the ranks and compete at the highest level. It would create more diversity and innovation within the league, ultimately benefiting the sport as a whole. And these benefits are not even hypothetical. In Europe, these fairy tale stories happen all the time. AFC Bournemouth came from the fourth tier of English football. They invested highly in precise player recruitment and committed to youth team development. And miraculously, in 2015, they got promoted to the Premier League. And even more remarkable, they stayed up, and in the next season, they actually finished in the top half of the table, in ninth place. And another good example is Union Berlin in Germany. Although that's such a remarkable story, I'd actually recommend an HITC7's video on it, because I don't, I don't think I'd be doing it justice if I just explained it in a few sentences. So, those were my reasons behind why I think that, you know, American sports culture kind of stinks. And uh, how it could be fixed. And uh, I gotta go because I'm sick of reading, so fucking, yeah. Subscribe and the other things.